As ASEAN and China prepare to meet next week, and the big question is whether Myanmar's army chief will be invited. General Ming Online was excluded at the recent ASEAN summit. Kyung Wai Kit reports. Will he? Will he not? The big question on whether Myanmar Army Chief Min Aung Hlaing will be invited to the upcoming ASEAN China Special Summit. He was already excluded from the recent ASEAN Summit. The UK, who's hosting the G7 ASEAN meeting, says it's excluding Myanmar's Army Chief. Upcoming ASEAN Chair Cambodia has also reportedly said it won't invite Min Aung Hlaing to the Asia Europe meeting. Yet, it's still unclear if China, seen as an ally of Myanmar, will surprise the world when it hosts the ASEAN-China Special Summit in late November. I would say that it's 50-50 because China can actually uh, quietly inform the entire ASEAN membership, look, I'm going to U-turn on your position and actually invite the general into this special summit. All right, on the understanding that I will support you by extracting some concessions from him. All right, so in that sense, it saves ASEAN's face as well. And ASEAN's snub last month would have been productive in a way in sending a stern message to General Min Online that, look, you know, your own neighborhood has uh, indicated strongest displeasure against you. And, you know, your next nearest neighbor, China, is actually giving you a crack in the door. China is set to sign a deal with ASEAN that will improve ties on several fronts. On Myanmar, China says it backs ASEAN's efforts on dealing with the crisis. While Beijing has been friendly and supportive towards Myanmar, recent events have raised questions on its stance. The UN Security Council met on Myanmar and in a rare move issued a statement calling on the army to end violence. This means China did not object to the council's call. Given uh, recent events concerning uh, President Xi's position within the Chinese Communist Party, this is also a wonderful first opportunity after that proclamation about him being reaffirmed for continuation as president and chairman of the Communist Party. You know, to, to show that, you know, uh, this is indeed... Uh, the leader that should be uh, memorialized in uh, modern Chinese history. President Xi and US President Joe Biden have held various phone conversations and agreed to beef up communication. And when it comes to Myanmar, they're both on the same side. In September, US and China have agreed to delay a decision on choosing Myanmar's ambassador to the UN. Meanwhile, Myanmar's ousted lawmakers, who formed the National Unity Government, have been vying to be recognized internationally. It's engaged countries like the US, but so far, the NUG has not been formally recognized. But one thing remains clear, that ASEAN still considers Myanmar part of the family. But, like families, there are internal disputes. Myanmar has said it'll seek recourse and argue that Army Chief Min Aung Hlaing has a right to attend ASEAN meetings and summits. Some ASEAN academics point out that this may not necessarily be an issue of legality, but simply a move stemming from the army's ego. The army chief can't be seen accepting the decision without putting up a fight. Regardless, if Myanmar goes ahead with formal dispute resolution, it won't be easy. It's a case of Myanmar going up against the entire Southeast Asian bloc, and all members will have to agree to come to the table to negotiate in the first place. Observers add that this may complicate Myanmar's crisis and possibly diverting attention away from the current political crisis. Leung Waikit, CNA.